It's 4.30. I'm super hangover and it's Sunday. This is Nino Asaro. Today, I'll make you the best hangover dish, carbonara. Fucking, I thought the J train wasn't running. Like, <laughs> when I'm trying to get to class, there's like a train every like 15 minutes. Today I'll be working you through the process of making the best hangover dish, a Roman classic, the dish of carbonara. You only need four to five ingredients. The first one, eggs. Make sure you get the freshest egg possible. We went to the farmer's market in Union Square. We're talking to the producer, understanding when the eggs come, were coming from. Make sure you buy the eggs the day of. Second, always get pecorino romano. Don't be faked by like Romano cheese and all those like fake sounding. Get a nice block chunk of cheese and then grate it yourself. Third one, get the guanciale. The guanciale is the cheek of the pig. Very, very fatty, a lot of, a lot of flavor. Guanciale, I know it's a little fine and like fine dining, but you know, what can we do? It's Italian. Then you will need a type of pasta. You could either use uh, mezze maniche or some shorter format, but for the time being, we want to keep it classic and we're just going to do a spaghetti alla carbonara. Carbonara is a very, very simple pasta. I would say it's basically the mac and cheese of Italy. First things first, put a pot of water boiling. In the meantime, get the pecorino, eggs, guanciale and start preparing them. In a separate bowl, put two whole eggs and four yolks. Whisk them, add pepper, then grate the pecorino, either with a microplane or like a, a traditional grater. Ideally, the finer the pecorino is, the better your carbonara is gonna turn out. Then, get the guanciale. Cut the skin off the upper part, you don't wanna use that. Then. Cut the guanciale in very small pieces, little cubes. In our case, we're using a cast iron pan so that we can like get very concentrated heat, but at the same time, uh, release all the fats. What we're doing, once the guanciale is chopped, we put it in the pan without any heat. And then we let the pan generally warm up until all the fat is released. Once the fat is released, remove the guanciale off and put it aside with some paper towel on the bottom. Then use the guanciale fat to emulsify the eggs and the pecorino. Make sure that when you add the guanciale fat, you really, really stir very hard so that the eggs don't scramble and the all compose is very well emulsified. In the pot, make sure the water is boiling super, super hard. No salt. Then put the pasta water Cook it to al dente, which is usually two or one minute less than the box says. Strain the pasta out, but with a pair of tongue. Keep all the water in the pot and place the pasta inside the bowl. Take this bowl and you put it on top of the pot of boiling water. So make sure to not throw the water away. Now you stir with a lot of, lot of energy so that the sauces condense and creates a very, very creamy carbonara sauce. 